this week's been hectic. I've been trying to get that, get the, the cat finished. Check this baby out. <laughs> Man. And it's nothing better than new cells, like be fresh bed linen. Lady Africa's got her new sails up. This is Alan and Patricia, and this is their 40 foot uh, leopard. Welcome to Sailing Lady Africa. I'm Ricky, and this is my wife Simone. After two years of hard work on our boat, she's finally ready to take us from South Africa across the Atlantic to the Bahamas. Be sure to join in our adventures by subscribing down below. Barbecuing today. And what are you making? So I'm making a butternut spinach side dish. Oh damn. We were really craving a good braai, also known as a barbecue, so we invited our neighbors over to join. But the weekend was over and it was time to get back to work. It's been extra difficult getting up on these frosty mornings, which means I wake up, make his coffee and breakfast, and we eat it in bed together. His toes are hungry. Them toes be eating up the socks. This week's been hectic. I've been trying to get that, get the, the cat finished. It's a lot of systems. We've put so much gear in there over, I think we're probably running now at 160 meters with a new cable that's in, big gauge cable. All the installs that I do, I believe that I, I want to take full control and put everything new. The boat's 13 years old, so those cables have worked a bit. Some of them were in really bad shape. Others were in pretty good shape, but since it's a new build and we ran things different ways, we put everything brand new and so far it's a very nice system. Everything's really nicely set up, but um, it means we don't get the time that we want on our boat to, to finish it. But this is what it takes, man. It feels like we just keep on making money to kind of just into our own boat and, and keep on, keep the dream alive and, and that's what we're doing. So hopefully you guys understand that this week was an action packed like I wanted to be, but um, hopefully next week I can all this weekend I can finish up on that deal and then show you guys some footage about us installing this water maker next week got some rig tensioning to do on the, on our boat and <laughs> we got new sails so that's that's I'm pretty stoked about that it was it's been a tough week but getting new sails is always a sweet sight and the guys from almond sails and Morgan he's we'll leave a link in the description below if you guys are in South Africa and you're looking at getting sales contact them felt that their service was amazing really helped us out and I'm sure if you guys discuss with them they can organize a good deal and put new sales on your boat if that's what you need or otherwise a new stack back or build some beautiful uh, spinnakers asymmetrics and stuff like that so if you guys need a special sale bolt they're the guys we'll leave a link down in the description below and on another point, I also want to point out, if any of you guys are coming through South Africa, um, Cape Town in particular, this is a good place to really get equipment fitted on your boat. Firstly, I think that price-wise is really good. Lithium batteries, for example, really good price down in South Africa. The sales, well-priced, the ropes. Don't forget to subscribe below if you guys want to check more videos. Soon we'll be traveling, we'll be sailing up to Namibia once everything clears up. Sibley, Brazil, it's we've been thinking about it a lot lately while ricky was working next door on the battery installation i caught up on some admin work and replying to emails it was a beautiful warm sunny day so morgan from almond cells bought us our new cells to put up we were super excited We're just seizing it up so that we don't have anything coming loose and I need to while we're doing this I probably might take the opportunity and do the anchor at the same time. I think there's quite a few things that we actually need to do because we couldn't find the wire and PE yeah. anyway. So this is our new little stay sail. If you guys don't know this is what the old one looked like and you can see that thing was total and this is our new one. So 
Hopefully Morgan, Morgan says this thing's cool, so if it's not, <laughs> we're holding him to it. <laughs> Check this baby out. <laughs> man. I think there's, is there anything better than new, new sails. sails, man? That's sweet. Beautiful. Fresh linen and new sails. Fresh linen, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky, um, can we go straight on to the, take this out of it? Yeah. Yeah. It's a strong going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's so less failure rate if you just go straight from the ring to a shackle. All good, less connections. I mean, on this on this little stay sail, we wouldn't have to really lock it, but on the Jenna, you really don't want that thing to come loose. I mean, then you've got a mission. And that one was actually coming loose, so I don't know if I should put one on here. I mean, it's such a small sail; it's hand. We can manhandle this one around, so I'll put it in anyways. Oh shit. Hey, I got the pink plaster ready <laughs> for you. <laughs> Don't worry, that's what happens. To you. <laughs> like I always seem to do when you show. Let's make sure it goes into the group. Okay, we'll take up the stack on the alley. Okay, we can go up. I feel like the rack. We actually look like we match now. Beautiful. Do I have to this one? You want to fill it? Yeah. I just want to see where these lines are going. For now, I'm still missing a deck block that I need to put in. Okay. I wanna, I'm putting in another deck block and then running it into the cockpit. Okay, we'll just tie it off now. Yeah. You see the UV covers covering everything? So. Oh. This is number two, this is the money maker. <laughs> the money maker. Yeah. Happy days. I thought you said you want to slack on the helium. No, take the slack up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Slacking up on the helium. I'll take the slack up. Hey, hey. It's exercise. What happens when we speak two different languages? <laughs> That's what happens when we speak the same language. Imagine we're speaking different languages. Yeah. yeah. I would have gone to make coffee. Is <laughs> that your thing, man? You're gonna have to come here, Mr. Swedge right? <laughs> Don't you want to think last time, Morgan? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't put the sail upside down. No. <laughs> you don't seen, fold the fold sail. Have you seen that have you seen that video of those guys that went sailing? And they put the sail spinnaker yeah. up, upside down. No, it wasn't a spinnaker, it was a jib. Okay. 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 Okay.
gonna shoot past you. You can hear that crispiness. So crispy. Man, it's nothing better than new cells like be fresh bed linen. You climb in and it's soft and it smells good. That's what that feels like. Lady Africa's got her new sails up. Freaking exciting. Is my hair okay? <laughs> it's beautiful. Oh, it's yeah, okay. So this is Alan and Patricia and this is their 40 foot uh, leopard. And what we're doing is they're allowed, they, we've been talking about lithiums and stuff and he's like, well, he would like to do it because they've been having these batteries and they run their generator a lot, like 9,000 hours a lot in the last five years. So we've taken the batteries out of there. This is where it used to be. It's kind of a, it's a dryish compartment, not very dry. But um, because the lithiums are 100% safe, they don't leak or anything, we put them in an area where it's much, much drier. This is some of the systems, how it's working. You can have a look over here. That's the color control. So we've got our solar coming in and at the moment, we're actually getting 500 watts, but someone's putting up sails and stuff. So they're busy shadowing that. But I mean, being in winter, getting 500 watts out of it, is pretty good. We're gonna have a uh, charge controller over here, which is gonna control the Victron, the charging capacity, switch it, control the inverter too. This is one of the solar controllers that we updated, that outback over here. But um, just to make everything Victron, and it's a little bit better tracking on the MPPTs. So that's one of them, but that's not connected to the system, so it just feeds in. The old bus on these cats used to be over there, for the buzz bar, so that's only feeding the current system. But we moved everything out of there and it's down this way now. So this is under one of the bunks and this is where we installed 620 amp hours of lithium. So in usable capacity, if you have to compare to lead, is equivalent to 1240 usable. If you're talking lifespan and all of that, you're equivalent, you need to put about, and performance and all that, you need to put roughly about 1800 amp hours of lead to be equivalent to, to these ones that we got in. You can check here. Because you're talking, talking not only about discharge, but you're talking also about charging efficiencies and everything. So 620 amp hours charging is freaking amazing through them. You can see we run each one separate, but they are parallel. Those cables and everything is done to like the number to get it perfectly correct. And then everything comes in here. So our supply lines come in here. 100 square millimeters of cable supply, which is spec'd out for our system. And then we got the links in thousand thousand amp buzz bar linked to the inverter which is just above here like right here so we've got about a meter run over here we'll show you from the other side it's in a really tight space and then we got the charging system which still needs to be tidied up you can see in this cavity uh, there's 250 amp mppts and supply and distribution breaker boards so that's in that little cavity in this area here and you never need to access this because the isolators are over there. So this is pretty much just, and everything's remote monitoring. And everything connects to the color control, which does all the monitoring and makes it really easy for you. And uh, let me show you the inverter quickly. Leopard unfortunately installed it in there, but let me show you. And there we've got the 3000 watt inverter. It's where the old one used to be, so we use the same. Just drill holes through the bottom there so it can go straight down. 3000 watt inverter. And that's going to be more than enough power for all their needs. And how are you feeling about your system so far? <laughs> static. <laughs> Absolutely static. It, uh, it's how it should have been from day one. Period. Perfect. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks, Alan. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. So apart from Allman doing sales, they also have a bunch of gear that you can buy from them. So that includes t-shirts, hats, bags, and everything. He went with Morgan and he saw that they have these really cool bags that they sell. So what makes these bags special is that they are made out of sale material. So it's really cool because it doesn't really get moldy. So we were really like, we thought these bags were really cool. Well, Ricky told me about them. And Olmer was super nice to gift us two of these bags. 
So we're super excited. I gotta show you how it looks because I'm excited about it. Ricky was excited about it. It's just like we have always had the trouble of moldy dewy bags because we store it in any nook and cranny we can find and you obviously don't use your bag every day and then when you pop it out to pack because you're flying somewhere or going somewhere it is damp and just full of mold and then you need it and you don't have time to wash it and let it dry and all that stuff but this fixes that problem This is the duffel bag, which is, as you can hear, it's cell material. And it's cell material on here. And then this, this is my cool beach bag. A few questions we had is what is our next plan? Are we leaving? As lockdown ends, what is our plan? As you know, the Caribbean is now going into hurricane season. We are in no rush to get to the Caribbean at the moment. Everything's still closed where we want to go. The reason we didn't spend two years or three years to build a boat to just rush to where we want to go. So Ricky's busy working in Cape Town at the moment. Lockdown has been a good opportunity to work on some boats here, help them with their systems and install new systems for them which helps us make a little bit of our sailing kitty again. We're gonna hang out in Cape Town. Our next plan is to head to Namibia. If we stay in Namibia a month Two months, who knows? But we're not rushing to the Caribbean, so no one has to worry about us running into hurricane season. We are not doing that. We are taking it chilled if we hang out in Brazil, wherever. If you have sailed to Brazil in the last recent years, let us know what you thought of it and leave a comment below and let us know because we would love to get, we always have mixed reviews about sailing into Brazil, so we would like to see your personal opinion about the place and yeah so leave a comment below don't forget to subscribe below if you haven't already and hit that notification bell to alert you every time we upload a new episode and give this video a big thumbs up because it's a free way you can support our channel if you would like to join the lady africa family you can do so by clicking on any of the links in the description below ciao ciao